Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geenan for Syscon TV. We are here at 8th Cloud Expo. I have with me Egan Christensen from our diamond sponsor of Cloud Expo, it should be said, Dell, Dell Services specifically. And yesterday, I just wanted to say this, on camera, on record, Egan, that was the most incredible keynote from your boss's boss, if I've got it right. Absolutely, Absolutely brilliant. brilliant. Steve is, is an ex excellent speaker. He really gets the vision of where we're taking Dell, how we're going to get there. He thinks the cloud is a major cornerstone to where Dell is going to be in the future. I think he did a phenomenal job of really kind of bringing the level up amongst the, the crowd about what's happening and where Dell is taking it and where the cloud is going in general, not just with Dell. That was the thing, wasn't it? So this is a shout out to Steve Schuckenbrock. It was really quite high level and it was very energizing. A lot of people came up to me afterwards and said, that's the kind of keynote we want. It, it says that the cloud is interesting and it says it from a business perspective. No, you're spot on and, and you know, we really think that for the cloud that it's, it's a cornerstone to where Dell is going to be in the future. So we're making a major investment as Steve talked about and over a billion dollar in new data centers. We've got 21 new solution design centers going in around the planet and all of this is to really help kind of bring us to the forefront of where cloud needs to be and where it's going and we want to be part of that process and we want to help our partners and our customers get there as well. And just in case anyone has any doubt, and they weren't here at Cloud Expo, shame on you. Uh, Michael Dell also had a little video in play there saying hi to everyone at Cloud Expo, and clearly bursting at the seams, would love to be here, and it was totally genuine. So the DNA of Dell still coming from the big man, he is very, very pro-cloud. Absolutely, his entrepreneurial spirit is running throughout the organization, and especially around cloud, it's, it's a new frontier in its yeah. own way. And uh, you could hear by the enthusiasm, by the, the, the level of excitement coming out of Michael, that it was an important thing for Dell, and, and I'm here to echo that statement. You know, We've got a great showing here today, an amazing crowd, and we're really looking forward to finding a way to be part of this big process. And isn't that also, I think part of the attraction is that as major, major players like Dell come into it, you've got a chance to reinvent yourselves a little. Everybody wins because the IT, the enterprise IT, is all reinventing itself, and that's a good thing if I'm a consumer or if I'm an enterprise. No, you're spot on there as well. You know, Dell is, is really changing what we do today. In the past, we've been known as an exceptional hardware company. Now we want to be known as an exceptional solution organization, tying our services, our hardware, our products, our people, and anything else that we have in the bag to really bring the right solution to our customers. So how does it work, Egan, from a sort of, you know, realistically, from a company perspective, this roadmap, are we talking, you know, from a Dell perspective, are we talking two years, five years, 10 years? Is this like going to be what you're concerned with for an entire decade? So uh, the short answer is yes. You know, there's short-term needs and we know there's areas that we can hit right away and we're going to attack those very aggressively. But we realize that you know, this venue, this change in how we compute and how we manage systems is going to be a lot different and how we provide business solutions for organization is going to be much different. So it's not just a journey of the next year and we're done and you know, now we can go around and tout it. It's about how do we evolve our services accordingly and yes, that'll be a long-term roadmap for us to get there. And do you think it makes, you know, as a corporate guy, does it make life, it's, it's very challenging, it's very mutable, it's changing everybody. Does that make life suddenly more interesting? Uh, absolutely. I, I love my job right now. It, it's fantastic. I get to talk to lots of customers who know how to really, you know, uh, to t try to tell us where they're going. I get to understand the diversity of our customer set. And then internally, I get to really help in an entrepreneurial way, uh, show a company how we can make things happen in a different way. And there's a lot of people in this company that are energized behind us. Uh, we've got over 43,000 people in our services organization now. And so we're utilizing every bit of those people to make sure that we've got the right position as we go forward. And you've got some nice web assets as well. What's that lovely URL? DellInTheCloud.com. I like that. What would I say if I go there? You know, in the Dell in the Cloud, it talks about a lot of our offerings, whether that's services we offer today, hardware to support, some of the top uh, internet providers in the planet, uh, solutions, consulting, all sorts of activities that are available for you, white papers, great materials to understand what we're up to, and ways to get assistance and help when you need it. So if you've been energized by this, and if you didn't catch Michael Dell, you can still see it. We'll be streaming on demand from all of our web pages. We want to thank you, Egan. We want to thank Dell for sponsoring the conference, getting us off to such a great start. Day two seems to be even noisier than day one, and who knows what day three and four will bring. Thanks again for joining us, and thanks for you for watching this out there on the World Wide Web.